it's very important, the story that we were telling last season. It just becomes more important um, this season. Now I'll free others, wrongly accused. Don't forget, I won't. This is all across the board, social injustice, different things that are happening out there. And we address those things in different ways throughout the show. But without going so far that the show becomes so informative that it's educational instead of entertaining. We'll be tackling, as Curtis said, certain thing, aspects of current events. This season, For Life, we'll be tackling the COVID-19 pandemic and the resurgence of the Black Lives Matter protests. We're just looking at those episodes now, and they are touching the cast and crew in um, a very deep way. And we can only hope that what we feel, the audience will feel, because we're not pulling any punches. We're not... Um, candy coating anything it's gonna we're gonna try and be as authentic to um and respectful to um you know what everyone has been through over the summer i'm really interested in the audience uncovering more of who aaron is in a way that we were limited because he was in prison the whole time in season one holding our grandson in my arms and thinking about his future i felt so sure that he would always know that you fought Marie and Jasmine, his wife and his daughter, were also in some kind of prison. They were incarcerated in a completely different way. And so we get to understand how that affected them a lot more. There's, there's some clashes, there are some things that, um, you know, they're going to find challenging uh, because he was in jail for almost 10 years and he was on the border of becoming in, um, institutionalised. And so there are certain things, certain hangovers that he's taken back into the outside, which is what a lot of ex-prisoners do. 